Greetings one and all to the most cursed, most cringiest corner of the internet, a YouTube channel content creator actively alienating everyone in both the analog and digital world. Welcome and good evening, good evening, you wonderful dice of all alignments. I am Lunar D8. This is Let's Play After Dream. Warning. <coughs> this game may potentially trigger seizures for people with photosensitivity, epilepsy. You guys get the idea. I had the most vivid dream. A dream like no other. Would you describe this dream to me? I'm lying in an unfamiliar bed, staring at the ceiling. I don't recognize the place. I can feel my body as if I were awake. I can see my fingers casting shadows. I can smell the damp and moldy air. I guess what I'm trying to say is that I can see and feel all the little details in the dream should blur. As if you weren't a mere spectator in your dream. Yeah, something like that. I'm sorry. Please go on. It is such an uncanny feeling. I, uh, don't know how to describe it. That dream. You are in a safe place. Take a deep breath. Would it help if you closed your eyes? Try to focus and tell me more about this dream of yours. Yeah, okay. So, I got up from a maggot eaten bed. Well, where am I? What the? These aren't my clothes. Why am I wearing a suit? What the actual fuck is going on? Locked. I need to find a key or something else to unlock it with. There's nothing but dust and dirt here. The tub is full of some shitty smelly liquid. It isn't water, that's for sure. There's nothing but dirt. It's a moldy wooden basket. Luckily, I don't have to touch it. Hello? Is anyone here? Can you hear me? I need to get out of here. Nothing here that I can use. What's with all these cardboard boxes, anyway? Huh. It looks like there's something in the oven. The oven door seems to be stuck, though. Surely there's something I can do about it. What? No point in guessing. I need to find the right combination. That's not how ovens work. The fridge door is jammed. Besides, I wouldn't need anything I find here. There's some leftover pizza. It's an old and dirty jacket. There could be something in its pockets. Let's see. You got a body now. Must be a better one. Okay. Door is locked. This lock is way too big for being lockpicked with a bobby pin. Ha! Huh, where's the door? How the hell am I supposed to get out? Now. Locked. I gotta try lock picking with the bobby pin I found earlier. 
I've never attempted to long make anything. How hard can it be? Uh, That was awkward. Well, that wasn't easy. The drawer is now unlocked. There must be something inside. You got a key. <coughs> oh, the irony. The key should fit here. Now the door is unlocked. I don't understand. I don't usually pick up all sorts of junk, but I feel I might need this. You acquired a towel. Yay. The bathtub is empty if you don't count the dead cockroaches. Why does everything have to be so dirty in here? That's one filthy mirror. I can't see anything from it without wiping it first. The towel is too dry to clean the mirror. The sink under the mirror is busted. I can't soak the towel here. I'm gonna use the bathtub. There's no water. I can't soak the towel here. Shouldn't there be a sink in the kitchen? All right, the dirty water. Why would that? Why would this clean a mirror? It should just make it worse. It's that's. My logic puzzle doesn't have logic. The tub is full of some shitty smelly liquid. It isn't water, that's for sure. Alright. Eh, uh, you. I can soak the towel here, though I wish I wouldn't have to. That's not... Call bullshit, this is not... This should not work. All right, the mirror's dirty. Let's wipe it with a shit-covered towel, I guess. All right, let's get this mirror cleaned. Yep, I wouldn't call it clean. But that'll have to do. It's clean enough to make out the numbers in the bottles. Five, three, seven. Okay. Nope. So. Am I old in this? I feel like something changed my reflection. Like I'm older. I can't believe that worked. The oven door is now unstuck. Alright, what do we have here? I have a camera! Okay, press X to use camera. Why would I do this? Try finding something interesting to photograph. What? 
Once the camera is focused, take a focus. Take a photo by pressing A. Okay. Did I magically create a doorknob? The door appeared from thin air. What kind of camera is this? locked. Is someone here? I don't know what's going on. What? You can save the progress by visiting the save points. I saved the game! Yay! Checked it, but I want to double check OBS again. If I can find the arrow, it stopped disappearing. Bah, okay. Just more junk here, nothing we can use. door is locked. There's no power, no surprise there. Okay. I guess we go back. And we just go back to bed. What if I'm in front of the camera thing? Will that make a difference?
heard a noise. wall thing here it looks kind of like there's a person it looks like there's a person like hunched over here's his head and that's his nose and that's his chin heck this looks like a silhouette of a person as well Okay, it looks like a thing to get power to the... Must have lost my marbles. Just how? I don't get it. That's a... There's a fuse missing labeled elevator. No wonder the elevator doesn't work. Good evening. I see you're carrying the camera. It means you must be the camera operator. Uh, what's the matter? Cat got your tongue? I don't know where I am. I don't know how I got here. And I sure as hell don't know what you are on about. Yes, I can see your face is holding a very peculiar expression. Well, I suppose I may have been mistaken. I do. Wait a moment. The elevator isn't working. It seems to be missing a fuse. Ah oh, yes, that's old news, I'm afraid. The old lady keeps frying the fuses like a cheap old toaster. That's why I always carry a spare one. That's great news. I need to get out of this mess. Can I have the fuse, please? Should there be a staircase? Well, look at this. I smell an opportunity. Oh, great. What do you want from that? I came here to collect some food for the dinner party. Ew, that's gross. Surely there's nothing to eat here. What are you looking for, anyway? Anything that resembles food. We're not too picky. Fine, I'll find something for you and your friends to eat. Fabulous. Please take this jar. You can store whatever food you find in it. Please just make sure that there's plenty of it. Okay. Well, let's go check. Sir? Now it's kind of hard to see. Oh shit, the lights are out. As if it wasn't creepy enough already. How the hell am I supposed to find anything need here? Press Y to shoot from the hip. Camera to briefly see it. What is this? Fatal frame? Could be something to eat in the fridge. The fridge door is struck. Okay. This is so weird, the fridge door is gone. What a disgusting stench. Is that cheese? Hope they like spoiled cheese. One third way full. Jar isn't full yet. I need to find more food. Okay, the noise was startling as fuck. Was this just look like eyeballs up there? Dead cockroach, but that one. Um, what? I believe crickets are high in protein, so why not? This is. Okay, why not cockroaches? Why don't we just give them drugs while we're at it? 
The jar is employed. There's pills over here, why don't I just give them the fucking pills? Floating bits of meat in it. This will make a fine sauce. <sighs> the jar is now filled. A prop they're proper crazy if they're gonna eat this stuff. It's literally Yeah. Um, what the hell was that? Not my problem. I left the room. I brought food. Good evening. I mean, honestly, I watched a uh, D a D joke video where, you know, they're like, oh, we gotta give purified water to these exhausted people. What do we do, I know. Let's piss in a bucket. And we'll cast purify water. That actually would be better than what I'm fucking giving this guy. Good evening. Perhaps you found something eatable for us? Edible. The word is edible. I might have found something for you. Here you go! The most refined culinary delicacy this strange place has. I'm guessing at least. Let me see what you brought to me. Yes, what an aroma? Oh, that means you actually like it? Oh, yes. My acquaintances and I are delighted. Okay, what the hell is wrong with you? You know, never mind. Can I please have the fuse now? This place gives me the creeps. Of course. I'm a man of my word. Here you go. Cool. I have a fuse. What a strange person. Shit, I should have asked him what's going on. We what? Hey, old man. So can we ever go faster than this walking pace? Huh? Where did he go? I inserted the fuse. Okay. I saved the game. Come on, work now, okay? Yes, finally. Here I come, home in a warm bed. Elevator, please work. Oh shit, something is trying to break through these doors. At least one of them's covered with the boards. Come on, elevator. Those doors aren't going to hold. I need to do something. Well, I'm fucked. It would be bad if I wasn't still losing time. Hope that holds. Yay. Everything. What on earth is going on? Finally. If this is the dream, please let me wake up. Complete World 1. That is quite a dream. How does it make you feel? Well, it's hard to believe it was only a dream. I can't emphasize how real it felt. Is there any, something in particular that makes you feel that way? Everything. Think about being awake and conscious, but knowing it's only a dream. It's scary and strange. Yes, it does sound curious. Dreams can be lively, but what you're describing sounds like something more. Oh, it's only getting weirder from here. I, uh, 
not even sure it was a dream. Maybe I'm losing my mind. I can tell this is difficult for you. Remember, you're in a safe place. I suggest we continue with your experience, but only if you feel comfortable doing this. Yeah, okay. Where was I? You told me you stepped into the elevator. Ah, uh, yes, that's right. This doesn't look right. I must be dreaming. We'll go and do a save. I don't know. I've been thinking about reading some stuff from the TV Tropes website. So, I already have a random trope pulled up. So, you know what? With this playlist, I think I'll play, like, I think it's Jesse something, I can't remember. I think I'll get and play all of his games, and I'll try to make shorter videos. And, like, right now we're at... 26 minutes in. So I think I'll try to aim for like 20 to 25 minutes of gameplay of these videos and then just do like 5 minutes of reading a TV trope. So, first one. Gag series. Dearest Mother, we're thinking of portraying various dramas for everyday life from now on. Beat. Just getting the episode was a one-time thing. Kamiyama something high school. A comedic show specifically concentrating on being humorous before any concern of plot, drama, or even comprehensibility. Noted for a complete lack or ta for a complete lack of tact or pomposity on the part of the writers and frequently postmodern commentary. Can have occasional fan service with the series will openly acknowledge. The rule of funny will be observed. Because they don't take themselves seriously, gag series tend to experiment across the board with parody, lewd humor, random cutaways, and short-lived drama in a win-win situation. These can be very successful experiments when they succeed or mocked by the series itself when they fail as a protective tactic. Ironically, they can be praised for presenting such topics without being and malicious. However, doing this at the end of a series can cause accusations of being pretentious. Anime gag series often use the Apuni plush design. Many are also a quirky work. Shows that depend a lot on puns and parody are typically considered too difficult for commercial releases and are fan-subbed only erratically. A few even get a gag dub. Anime and manga are particularly notorious in this genre. Series will regularly go over the top in their nonsense and hilarity, even within the context of the show itself. Characters will time travel, change species or gender, die, destroy buildings, cities, or planets. Anything that will push the ridiculousness even higher. Also note that these effects are rarely, if ever, permanent. There are times when normality is broken and restored in the space of a few minutes. Occasionally, the gag series is an ad adaptation of some canonical, canonical source, except now the writers pretty much do whatever they like. Pretty much one channel. See also Big Lipped Alligator Moment for cases where an otherwise co coherent story has occasional gag series interludes. Live action television examples tend to be sketch comedy, which can overlap with the gag series. Okay, examples in anime and manga. Along with having no fourth wall, a hundred girlfriends who really, 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 really love you have parodies, the harem genres, and its tropes. <coughs> the Adventures of 
Mini Goddess spin off of On My Goddess features fun sized versions of the goddesses and a talking rat named God constantly suffering amusing injuries during the 48 seven minute episodes filled with wacky hijinks. Aho Girl is about an incredibly stupid girl and the trouble she and her friends get into. Slapstick abounds. Animal Crossing New Horizons. Deserted Island Diary. Since the main games are a life sim, they don't have too much in the way of storyline. As a result, the manga goes this route. Following the antics of the island inhabitants, Aoi House is a part anime manga parody, part American media parody, modal references Grey's Anatomy, and at one point the character is found to be singing the theme song of card captors, and entirely hilarious. Azumanga Daio downplays this since the series actually does have continuity and plot, but each episode by itself is pretty is purely a string of jokes. Beelzebub can't seem to take itself seriously even when it's trying to be shown in. Bikini Warriors, four minute long episodes about fantasy class females wearing only bikinis. This anime is loaded up with plenty of fan service, parodies, the fantasy genre, has nonsensical plots, if you can call them plots, and provides plenty of laughs. Bo -bo 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 -bo. Plots constructed entirely out of bad puns, sight gags, and pop culture flotsam. Carnival Phantasm, an affectionate parody, the Nazuverse, has gotten quite hilarious every time and everywhere. Clean Freak Ioacum is full characters with weird antics and is prone to switching to a super deformed art style. Most of its comedy, which revolves around Ioma's touch aversion and a neat freak tendencies and other characters. Colorful, a couple of brain dead losers and surprisingly innocent edgy. The show makes fun of itself and perverts. DD Fist of the North Star is a super deformed parody series of the much more serious Fist of the North Star. There are two series sharing the name, but presuming that the end is the original's after the end setting never happened. Both shows are heavily referential towards iconic moments and memes of the original. The fir first is a web based flash show and is mostly slice of life with its humor. The second is considerably more comedy based of Rao, Toki, and Kenshiro described repeatedly as the three idiot brothers attempting to find work at a convenience store where everyone has been given the, an idiot ball of their own and Bat of all people is now the deadpan snarker straight man and possibly the only sane man in the show Delicious in Dungeon is this at the start before I don't know should I actually read all this like Let's see, Dr. Slump, Dragon Ball, Dungeon Toilet, Excel Saga, Fully Koi, Galaxy Angel, Jatama, Goldfish Warning, Gothic World, Neon Prior, stuff I can't pronounce. Now we're just like scrolling through hundreds of fucking different anime shows, and I'm just like, I'll mention the ones I feel like. There's Pokemon, Ranma Half. And yeah, okay, comic books. Yeah, some fan works, films, literature, live action TV, newspaper comics. Everyone's like, why are you reading this? Because I don't want to spend three hours doing this. The whole point is it's mainly the gameplay of the game. With just this little extra tidbit thrown in. So, the other things that are on radio, video games, God Hand. <laughs> there actually is a plot, but even the characters make fun of it. Also, there, visual novel. A bit theater is mentioned. Yay! Grand Blue Fantasy, Western Animations, Family Guy is infamous for this. Yeah, the cutaway gags. Okay, so there's a bunch of subfolders of stuff like Western Animation, Web Comics, Web Animations, Visual Novels, Video Games, Radio, Newspaper Comics, Live Action TV, Literature Films, Fan Works, Comic Books, 
and anime and manga. Basically what TV Tropes is, it's, it's a sort of wiki. What's a... It's described as TV Tropes, the all-devouring pop culture wiki. It mentions various tropes that are used in stories and then tries to show examples of it across all the different types of media that exist. Or you could actually click on an actual story and then read through all like we could look, we could look up the actual Berserk show with like Guts and Griffith and just read through all the tropes that are you know part of that. So that does make me wonder. Obviously it has Berserk and that's probably an enormous list. But I wonder, do we have Berserk of Gluttony, which is an entirely different story. Nope. Nope, it doesn't Nope, nope, there it is. Contains the following tropes. Nope, not a super long thing. Still, it's nice to see that Berserk Gluttony is here. Okay, we'll end the video. Kind of sleepy.